Hello, today I wanted to share a drumming intervention activity with you all. So almost before every session, whether it's a lesson or music therapy, I really like to do rhythm and drumming. I feel like not only is it foundational musically, but there's so much research on why drumming is beneficial motor-wise, communication-wise, sensory-wise. It really lights up different parts of the brain and has been shown to um, elicit connectivity between different parts of the brain um, with this rhythm and drumming so and verbalizing and drumming um, can really connect those neural pathways in our brains and so I really like to start it as a way for sensory um, integration into sessions but and um, to kind of ground ourselves um, to kind of check in where clients are um, that day or students where they are that day and work on rhythms and so I wrote a really, really simple rhythm chant and things have been picnic themed. So I have a bunch of visuals of food found on Google. I drum apples, you drum sandwich. I drum potato, you drum pie. We drum cake. Drum cake, drum roll. Three, two, one, stop. And repeat. So very, very simple, and you can have different images like animals and colors and other things that, especially um, preferred subjects of your uh, that your clients enjoy. TV show characters, animals is a big one, popular one. Food is really easy things that are like seasonal, like summer themed kind of items. And then this is just a simple chant. I have some other ones that I posted about um, before on this channel, probably a while ago, but I've done what do you like better and then present a choice. The idea of this is you could have like a stack of images and kind of randomly be like, oh, I'm drumming this, you're drumming that. And in lessons, you do more of a rhythmic component of it. I have a, um, a student calling just kind of pulling up cards go fish so kind of a go fish style where you have just a stack of cards so then it's i drum what i get ah a ta you drum what'd you get and then, and then you could you know tt ta or, or you could do a number system quarter note eighth note really whatever you're working on with your students and clients you can make that work in this really simple chant um that's fun and and can elicit that drumming um, in, in a structure as well. And if your client has difficulty with like I and you pronouns and kind of understanding whose turn it is, you can always use names. Bonnie drums, ta. Queenie drums, TT. And then Queenie the cat would drum TT. So you can always use names instead um, to really make it clear whose turn it is to drum or, or, or we drum, you could do the whole time too. We drum cookies, we drum this, we drum this, we drum this, roll! Um, and really make it a game in, in a song, however best works for whoever you're working with. So I hope you found this drumming chant helpful. Even without the chant, the idea of having a stack of rhythms, um, I've had like a bunch of these stacked and we'll go, go fish, oh, I got a ta, ta. And then, you know, Queenie go fish, and then Queenie would pull, and Queenie would play what she has. So, you know, some clients might need more of a song structure, or might enjoy more of a song structure, and some clients might like more of the game aspect of it. And as long as you're getting that end goal of drumming and verbalizing, that's where all the benefits are in. So, um, however you want to get there, it's kind of up to you and, and your client collaboratively figuring out what's the most fun. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I post a video every Tuesday. Right now I'm writing all original and sharing all original activities. Sometimes I do covers and make that really clear when it is a cover as well. And if you like the video, please subscribe for more. Like it, share it with somebody you think would like it. And happy drawing!